guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, um, yesterday Mojang released a 13W02A snapshot, which had some uh, changes made to the hopper. Uh, it also made some changes to the um, comparator. So the hopper is now controlled by a redstone. So as long as there's a redstone signal, it won't actually suck anything in. So if I... Uh, okay, but I'll, I'll fix that now. So if we go over here... Okay, um, you'll see that nothing is being sucked into the chest until I actually hit this button. Okay, it goes off and then you'll see it sucked two into the chest. So it's 27 and 4, so let me just... 31, so let me just do 30, so it's a nice round total. Okay, so there we go. So it's three. Anyway, so um, what this meant, uh, especially the comparator, which now sends out one signal strength if anything is in there. So uh, before, it didn't do that. It's only when there was 22 items in there that it sent a signal. So this kind of um, screwed up pretty much all of the designs for the item sorters and so forth that has been pop popping up. But um, I've actually found a, a, quite a small and nice fix for it. So you'll see I have a, a, a hopper leading into a chest with a comparator uh, with one signal coming out, uh, a second signal, and then one repeater. Now this is quite important because if you add another repeater into the system, it'll actually take two ticks, which, which will mean it'll suck two items out instead of one. Okay, And then comparators. Comparators is pretty much instantaneous. So it, it however, it just has exactly the same same signal that it, than the input. Okay, um, so that it then runs into this torch. So this torch will switch off, which will activate the comparator, uh, the the hopper, which will then suck it into the chest. So you'll see over here, I have 21 items. So any other item that I put in there will be sucked away straight away. Okay, so if I put in two items, both those items will be sucked out before it you know before it does what it does uh, okay so let me just get some to sh more to demonstrate with so if I now just chuck in a few in here um, boom 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 uh, there should be no gra gl grass blocks in there but the grass blocks should be in there okay so this is now a fix so it, this will now work uh, by rep you just need to replace the various item sorters you have. It's not completely tileable because of these two red redstone uh, wires, red stone wires, so um, yeah, it's not quite tileable. You do need to have one space left open, which is kind of okay, because if a hopper is full, for example, if I um, take out uh, one of those, and I add in, for example, one grass block, Okay, now it won't accept anything but oops, but a grass block. So let me show you. So if I, for example, put this in here, it'll just hop away. <laughs> You'll see it just boink, bounced. That's also why you need to leave one one gap. So if you have a whole row set up, for example, like over here, when you have a whole row, row set up, that gap helps with a bounce as well. Right, so that that's it. So, um, I mean, just have a look. I'm not really going to show you how to build this because, yeah, there it is. Very, very basic, very, very simple. I'm just going to hold still here so you can actually see what I did. Right, then next what I've done is uh, I've just tiled it one down to allow for a mine cart to actually be uh, running over here. So this is actually very, very cool. Um, but I've got, it, I've got it set up that uh, any items that I chuck in there, it will directly put it into the uh, mine cart. So as you can see, there we go. Right, so the minecart picks it up, it runs. Here's a, a, another uh, hopper over here connected to a, uh, uh, well, it looks like a furnace, but it's actually a dispenser. Um, and then there's a detector rail which then fires the dispenser. So you'll see we over here we have where the arrows are firing. So if I now uh, just very, very quickly build, let, what should we build? Just build a ways of fence. So this this can become in very very handy in mini games, tower defense games, um, and things like that where you you know you want people to have various options of firing uh, remotely at at your enemy. So I'm, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add some um, mobs in here. So let's just do uh, skeleton. Okay, so let's do some skeletons. And just dump a few skill. Oops. Ah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, game uh, difficulty 
21. Okay. Right. Sorry, the mobs are spawning and they're kind of irritating me. Right. So, what we can now do is uh, I can, for example, go splash potion of healing. So, health. So, I can do a, a couple of those. So, let me just. They don't stack. So, you'll need to do it one at a time. Right. So, now if I chuck this in the hopper, you'll see what happens to my enemies over there. So, in you go. And there we go. In you go. Oops. In you go. In you go. Oops, it's going to bounce off. And and one more should do it. And was there one more? Let's have a look. Cool. Well, that didn't really... I need more. I need more. I need more. I need more. Health. 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 Okay. So let me fill up. Oopsie. So as you can see, this is a very cool mini game of killing your enemy. So uh, yeah, oops. There we go. Am I going to kill them all now? Yes, there we go. <laughs> cool, guys. Yeah, I uh, I hope you you kind of liked and enjoyed this. This is a great little. Uh, little update and uh, I've got so much stuff I'm going to do with this. Um, in the next video I'm just going to show you what I what I did here which is kind of part of a quest series I'm working on. Alright guys, I will check you all later. Oh by the way, um, uh, yes I'm working on a map. If uh, you just follow me on Twitter I do most of my updates on there. So cool guys, yes I will check you all later.